What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Raps Baseball video. Today, we are going to do a trade tutorial in Bunt. We've had a few people ask us to do a trade tutorial and explain a little bit about how trades can be made and how to go about doing it. Uh, every year, uh, probably my biggest complaint is how Tops does change the design of the app. And for those who've had it for a few years will know that um, every year it changes a little bit and you have to kind of figure it out um, a little differently every year. Uh, the layout of the app does change inside it. So the first way that we're going to uh, look at uh, doing the trade is you're going to see under the activity section, there are missions, trade, crafting, and wheel. Uh, you're going to go and select the trade underneath that activity. And uh, once you see, you click on the trade, you're going to notice it takes you to the trades, pending trades, and it shows no pending trades right now uh, for me. Uh, the second thing that you can do uh, with a trade is to go create a trade list. And you'll see across the top underneath your coins, your diamonds, and your flame rating, uh, you can see the trade list. And I click on that. And here you can actually create a wish list and a trade list of things that you want to get rid of and things that you want to have. And you'll see all the little plus buttons. Well, currently on the wish list, I have a Pete Alonzo, uh, I believe that's an Independence Day card, autographed um, as something that's on my wish list. Um, but if I click the um, plus sign to the right of the Alonzo, it will take me to a uh, option where I can start to add uh, cards to my wish list and so it sorts the cards by legendary uh, by iconic by super rare by rare and as you notice across the bottom uh, I'm moving across the bottom it's the uh, rare cards then uncommon and then common and so on and so forth well right now uh, if I wanted to narrow my search down I could take the magnifying glass in the upper right and touch the magnifying glass and I can then, it opens up a search bar. And for me, I'm looking for Bowman right now that I want to be able to find. So I type in Bowman and then hit return and then it'll bring up the Bowman cards. Now, and the next question is, is what are the cards that I need and what are the cards that I maybe already have? Well, if you look in the upper right under the trade list again, you're going to see watching. You're going to uh, an eyeball that shows for watching. Um, you're going to see that magnifying glass. But then there are three bars, and if you click on the three bars, uh, what will happen is is it'll bring you to another another frame, and then you can search again by rarity, by affiliation, by category, position, and year. You could sort them alphabetically, date acquired by the global count, global count being the number of these digital cards in circulation, as well as you could filter by year. And as you notice, uh, this app has been around since 2012. I have it currently set at cards that I need for 2020. And then I would click apply. And of course, there's the, uh, the Bowman cards. So as I move across the bottom of the screen using the, 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 the bar, you're gonna see it can give me super rares and it gives me rares and it shows me which of the cards that I need and I can select those ones uh, into my trade list. I'm gonna cancel this, I'm gonna get back out and there I am in my wish list. So we'll do it again. I'm gonna click on to the plus next to Alonzo. We're gonna type in Bowman in my search just as I did a moment ago. Click on Bowman, now it brings up what I want and what am I actually looking for? Well, to be honest, I'm not looking for anything particularly great. I just want to complete a couple of my sets. And so in the base set, I am four cards short, or actually five cards short. And across the top, you'll see the guys that I need, which would include Berrios, and it looks like Catel Marte, and uh, it looks like Paul de Jong, and, and so on and so forth. So I would just touch the plus button of that card that I need. And so in this case, I've touched the one at the end of the uh, Detroit Tiger player, which looks like it's Travis Demerit. His name is blocked out in this uh, spot. I click OK, and there he shows up next to Pete Alonzo. And if I go hit the plus button again, I got to go through the same routine, unfortunately. I can't do multiple guys at one time, but there I type in Bowman. 
Again, I go back over to the far right, which is the common cards. Then I tap myself a uh, plus. So as I said, I believe that's Paul De Jong. And now I've got a De Jong. And well, of course, De Jong has now replaced the Merit. And if I fight the plus button beside. I go through the exact same routine again. Bowman. Return. And all the way to the right. And I hit uh, the next guy, OK. And again, it adds me demerit into that spot. OK, now I'm going to back out of here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a second way that you can create the trade. So again, I click on the trade under activity. Now across the top, as I said, you can see trade is highlighted. To the right was trade list. And now to the far left is feed. This is probably the best and easiest way for which you can try to uh, uh, make a trade. And you'll see different usernames. Drillbit27, he's just asking for trades, nothing specific. And you have Beastly Trades, he's looking for absolutely everything is unlocked for iconic cards. Take anything you want, leave an iconic card. And, you know, people are advertising and trying to do stuff, trying to fill sets, you know, and then of course, um, they they kind of let you know what they're they're looking for. He's got doubles of Independence Day rares, and he's looking for certain things. Nate Metz is looking for all trades as long as they're fair, and and so on and so forth. And so if you want to make a trade with somebody, uh, this guy here says, uh, "I love the I love the Tigers." He's looking for limiteds, but what I'm looking for again is Bowman. So again, I can click in the upper right where the magnifying glass is. Type in Bowman. And as I type in Bowman, it will now sort the, the feed to anything that says Bowman in it. So now we have a guy two minutes ago posted, uh, D. D. Bartolo says he wants Wander Franco, Bowman Gold, Vladimir Guerrero, Bo Bowman's best power. But I'm looking for kind of dupes for needs. And so when I come down, I see Huffy DMB. He says dupes for needs, working on Bowman, Gypsy Queen, and, and whatever else. So I'm going to tap on him. As I tap on him, up brings his main page. And now you'll see in the bottom right, you're going to see trade. So I'm going to click on trade for him. And now it shows last wraps at the top, which is us. Bottom is Huffy DMB. I'm going to type the plus sign for Huffy DMB. Again, hit the search button. Type in Bowman. A N. Hit return. And let's see what shows up for the needs that he can fill for me. Okay, I'm gonna go across the bottom all the way to the end. Here he is, Bowman cards, and you're gonna notice he's got a lot of the cards I need in doubles. You're gonna see Paul De Jong's got, he's got 17 De Jong's and 16 Barrios and 13 Cattell Martes and nine Travis Demerits. So I'm gonna click on a one of each of all of those five that I need. I'm gonna hit accept. And now I've got to offer this guy something. So I'm going to go up and click on my plus button. So I don't know what I have that he needs. So we're going to go back over again to the common section or the uncommon section. And I'm hopefully going to be able to fill him with, uh, with something that he needs. Well, unfortunately, I don't have, it doesn't look like I have any Bowmans that he needs. And so because my cards were commons, I'm going to offer him the Wheel of Fortune Acuna card, which I have doubles of. So he's got five commons. I'm going to send him an uncommon Acuna and see if he accepts the trade. So here we go. We'll hit accept. Maybe I get those five so I can collect my award. Would you like to proceed? Yes, I do. And now the trade has been submitted. I'm going to go back to the main page. And as I go back to the main page, I'm going to again click on the trade feature. And now you'll see under pending trades, that trade that I offered to Huffy DMB. Okay. Um, there's another way. There's two other ways that we can make trades. The other way is, is by looking in the upper right corner, you're going to see the flame with 2.2 or 2.2K. If I click on the flame with 2.2K, you're going to see your profile or my profile in this case, that I've got one follower and I'm following two people. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the following and that brings up two people and I see Beats and I see Marty Watson. Well, if I click on Marty Watson, all right, up brings Marty's profile. 
Now what I can do is I can offer Marty a trade. And again, to the bottom right, you could click on the trade, but, uh, uh, the trade button. I can go hit the plus sign underneath Marty Watson. And now I can start to look to see what Marty's got. I don't know. I see Marty's got a lot of Gypsy Queen. I don't know if he has collected Bowman. So again, I'm going to go and type in Bowman, hit return. And unfortunately, Marty hasn't done anything with Bowman. But now I still need some Gypsy Queen stuff. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to type in Gypsy Queen, or at least Gypsy, because if I type in Gypsy, Gypsy Queen, it should pull up what I want. And here he's got a few items in the super rare category, which are all, it looks like, Hall of Fame players. Unfortunately, all of Marty's players are singles. So if I made an offer for him, I'm going to send him a trade for the Cal Ripken Jr. So I'm going to add Cal Ripken in the super rare. I'm going to accept it. I honestly don't think Marty would probably accept this trade. I'm going to look for something in super rare that I have that he doesn't have right now. And I have a number of things, and I don't mind necessarily moving this stuff to him. Uh, so I'm going to look for a, uh, a sort of a Hall of Fame guy uh, who he may want. And um, I see Mattingly, and I see Tom Glavin. And if I tap on Glavin, it's going to bring up and show me that the global count is 1388. So I don't know if this is going to be an even trade or not, but I'm going to send him the Glavin autographed Independence Day card as part of the trade. I hit accept. There we are. I'm sending him Glavin for Cal Ripken Jr. We hit the send button and there it's off. Okay. Now, when I go back to my home page, okay, again, I can go back and check, hit trade again underneath the activity. There it props up. Now I've got Marty's trade and the Huffy DMB trade that I sent earlier. The final way that you can um, uh, uh, do a trade actually is, um, is, is knowing, as I said, the partners. Um, but those are probably the two easiest ways in which you can, can, can make the trades. Now, lastly, um, how do you know the value of your cards when making a trade? And so uh, the th actually the third way that we're going to show you is you're going to see at the bottom of the page underneath the 4th of July Independence Day card, you're going to see a little diamond. I'm going to click, or the home plate. I'm going to click the home plate, and it up is going to pop open another option on how to get to the trade feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click trade, and again, that's another way that takes me back to that, that trade page. I don't need to step you through it, as I've just done with Marty Watson and Huffy DMB, but this, again, goes back to the trade feed, and then you can go feed or you could go trade list or whatever you need to be able to do to get there. And there's my wish list with all the players that are on it. Okay, back to the home page. This time, I want to go and have a look at my collection. And this is important when you're making trades. So if I hit the uh, home plate again, up pops up different things. I'm going to see collection. And I hit collection. And now these are my cards. And so I have an iconic Christian Yelich card. And I'm going to tap on the Yelich. It's going to show it in, in the big, big feature. You're going to see in the upper left, it says how many cards that you own. And I own one. The digital global count is 339. That means there are 339 of these Christian Yelich digitally autographed cards in circulation. And the rarity is iconic. So now, if I go back to my collection, and this time I'm going to go all the way to the right, all the way to the right with my bar across the bottom. You're going to see I'm scrolling it all the way to the right. Now I'm going to base tier one. Well, the base cards in years past, they've stopped telling you what the global count is, NA on the global. In other words, there's a gazillion of these base cards that are out there. They probably don't have enough numbers now um, that could tell you what uh, those cards are. But when you go to the um, common cards, now you can start to see if I click on the Aussie Albies in the upper left, even he doesn't have anything. But if I go to uncommon and I click on the Fernando Tatis purple card in the upper left, now you can see the global count for that card, 25,293. So if someone was to send me a trade for the Christian Yelich autographed digital card and send me a Fernando Tatis, 
there's no way I would accept that trade because there's approximately 25,000 cards, more in digital cards in circulation of the Tatis than there are the Christian Yelich. And so with that, as I move along the bottom, you can see here we are in the rare category. If I click on the Xander Bogarts, Bogarts pops up. His global count is 1244. So a lot less Bogarts cards that are out. If I move again to the, to the left, the super rare cards, and I click in the upper left of the Ronald Acuna Jr. patch card that's autographed, again, global count is 215. And so now when I start offering trades or moving things around, I'm going to offer trades to people that would be of a similar card value, assuming that that's what they want. Well, listen, everybody, I hope that you enjoy this video and found it useful. Uh, and that's how you trade in Bunt. And so please leave a comment in the comments section if there's something else you'd like to know. Uh, we would like to do the gameplay mode in another week and change once the season gets going because you can use your cards and competitions and help you at least be able to attain more digital cards. And it's certainly in the playoffs in the past few years, uh, they've also had physical prizes. Uh, last year, not so much, but uh, years past, they have done things, whether it be autographed balls, bats, or jerseys uh, for people to be able to acquire. Well, once again, you've watched another Last Rafts Baseball video production, uh, and I uh, hope you have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Tomorrow.